But they must be on energy drinks because they don't look tired. Let's take a look at the Mercedes Benz three point championship. The contestants Dwight Hardy of St. John's, Lace Dunn from Baylor, Andrew Godlock College of Charleston, Mickey McConnell of St. Mary's, Ole Miss's Chris Warren, Rayburn Johnson, also from the SEC in Mississippi State, Brady Morningstar at Kansas, and Jacob Pullen. Those are the two guys that Dan and Jimmy took. Here's the rules. Eight competitors, 60 seconds around. Half the field's eliminated in each round. You've got five stations, five balls a rack. Now the money ball is worth double a regular ball, and you always have to shoot the money ball last. So our first two contestants, White Hardy from St. John's, who made Steve Lavin, our old comrade, look good this year. First team all Big East. And Lace Darius Dunn from Baylor. Native of Monroe, Louisiana, who had 388 career threes. Both first team all conference in the Big East and the Big 12. Dunn on the right, Hardy on the left. And our first two competitors set the fire away. I like the size of both kids, Brad. Hardy, 6'2, 196 pounds. Lace. Darius Dunn, 6'4", 200. Strength is a key part of this contest. And here we go. Hardy got the third shot from the baseline. And the money ball will rim out. Already to the wing for Dunn. I got to tell you, looking at Dunn's stroke from directly behind, what a perfect stroke he has for this competition. I want to read you on who I picked. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Money ball went for Hardy. They go to the top of the circle. You know, neither one of these guys really explode into their shot. Just elevating about three or four inches. Normally that equates to success when you're having to drop as many shots as these guys are in a minute's time. Yeah, Dunn. and you want a short stroke, too. Dunn really has a short stroke. Just gets it, puts it up, and gets rid of it with great backspin. He's going to have plenty of time left at the end. I'm not so sure Hardy will. Yeah, timing very important. You don't want to get in too big of a hurry. You don't want to be rushed at that last rack. Lace Darius Dunn finishing with six seconds to go. Lace Darius Dunn got a little bit tired there, as you were saying, Jim. Even though he's got great size, he got wore out. Money, money ball doesn't go. And not the kind of round either guy was looking for, I don't think. But the best of that went to Lace Darius Dunn with 15. Here's your guy. Here's your guy coming up. Coming Brad up, Nestler. White Hardy looks up there and knows that he's had better days outside the arc. And now, the next two step to the line, Andrew Godlock. My choice, big smile. Saw his coach, Bobby Cremens, right before the competition. And Mickey McConnell of St. Mary's. Mickey McConnell already practiced today for the NABC All-Star game, the senior game. And I asked him before, I said, is it going to affect you? He said, no, I think it's going to help me. I feel good. I feel loose today. I like Godlock's beginning. You like everything about Godlock. <laughs> Moneyball got it. You know, Mickey McConnell is actually coached by his dad in high school, and he said he taught me to shoot when I was a young boy. I think it's a real key. See, he never let me shoot far away from the basket, so I didn't have to throw the ball. He taught me good form, started me in close, and slowly moved me back as I grew. Godlock was perfect from the left wing, having trouble from the top of the key. Now he's warming up. You know, Jimmy, people ask all the time, what should I do with my son? Teach him to shoot, teach him to play. And my thing is always, always play him where he can make baskets. Yes. No matter what the sign, you know, make sure the rim is high enough that he can make baskets because kids will stay interested in basketball if they can score. That's why Nestler has an eight-foot goal in his driveway. <laughs> he can still score on it. He can still score on it. Even left-handed. Baseline for Godlock. Struggling a little bit from there and 16. Better than the first two. McConnell now. His money ball coming up. You guys are uh, veterans at this, so you've seen this, but it is amazing when kids get to the last rack yep. in that corner, how every shot is short. Yep. yep. You're putting up Wait a lot of shots in. in 60 seconds. <laughs> You're firing at five racks. 25 shots in a minute. They start feeling like medicine balls when you get to that last rack. You can see Godlock had a perfect wing. And McConnell had a struggle in both of the last two spots and finishes with 11 in round one. You know, you have to average getting up about one shot every two and a half seconds. That's a pretty quick tempo that can wear on you. Chris Warren, Jimmy and I have seen him through his whole career at Ole Miss. 
one of the smaller guys in the competition. We've seen this guy in the SEC as well, Raven Johnson. So one guy's 5'10 and one 6'7. You're going to see a different style here with Raven Johnson. He lifts up. He jumps high into his jump shot here. Yeah, he has an unblockable shot from the perimeter because he's 6'7 and he explodes into his shot. What I like about Chris Warren on the left, I said, what's the best part of your game? He said, I don't like to lose. I said, what do you look at when you see the rim? He says, I see the ocean. He's not That's a guy who can throw it in the right ocean. Now. No, he's on the beach and the water is getting farther and farther away. <laughs> what I like about Chris Warren, I like the beard. You got to fear the beard. That's you what they say down the in beard. Oxford. And they and they go to games dressed in the beard, right? <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Like Brian Wilson of the uh, Giants. Top of the key, getting a little better for Chris Warren. Money ball. Got it. Look at the feet of Rayburn Johnson, how high he explodes into his shot. 6'7", 175 pounds. He doesn't have a lot to lift. But that will really make you leg weary by the time you get to that last rack, Dan. Let's see if he gets anything over the front rim. He did there. Yeah, good for him. He's getting it over the front. This one's tight. Again, they're not shooting against each other. They just happen to be going at the same time. Money ball for Warren could be a good round if it goes. Mm. And they both have 15. This is pretty tight right now, fellas. We've had a 16, two 15s, and 11 and a 10. Rayburn Johnson out of Lyon, Mississippi, and Mississippi State for Rick Stansbury with 15. And Andy Kennedy, head coach at Ole Miss, Chris Warren, 15 also. So right now, Andrew Godlock has got the lead by one, but it's tight all the way across the top. Brady Morning Star, Jacob Pullen yet to come. Now, if Jacob Pullen wins this round, that means practice doesn't matter. Because I don't think Jacob Pullen shot one shot out here the entire time we've been here for an hour and a half. I think that's a veteran move. He's, he's right. well rested. Right. Here's Jimmy's pick, Brady Morning Star, Kansas. And here's your pick, Dan. Jacob yeah. Pullen, Kansas State. Yeah, as I said, he, he hasn't taken a shot. Now, Brady Morning Star. Shot a ton. He was hunting shots. He couldn't shoot enough before this. Brady Morningstar is a jump forward jump shooter. Look where he starts from and look where he lands. He jumps forward. That's okay if you're jumping forward the same amount every time, but it puts a lot of pressure on your jump shot. Yeah, you can't have your legs swinging forward and your shoulders going back. If you do that, you're going to be short and inconsistent on a lot of shots. Did you tell him that before the competition? No, because, because he's my he's guy. Your guy. Look at That's my guy. His mind. Oh, in and out. Now they go to the top of the circle. Brady Morningstar's dad, Roger Morningstar, played at Kansas. He said he taught me to shoot when I was a youngster. He really worked on a quick release. Hey, he's also 25 years old, Brady Morningstar. What a life he's carved out. 25 years old, still playing college basketball. Can't beat it. Told him soon he's going to have to get a job. He said, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, way off on that one. Pullen's yeah. already on the baseline. Pullen looks a little tired. Morningstar's wow. way behind. He's not going to get all the shots up. Uh -uh. No I mean, the endurance got my guy. I think He's so. the best shooter in the competition oh. in the worst shape. Yep. <laughs> and maybe the worst pick by Jimmy <laughs> Joe Dykes. So far. Wow. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Well, okay. Our guys are out, Jimmy. Neither our two guys, of our guys are out. can go. <laughs> you know, it's the pressure that you put on them sometimes. They just can't, just can't stand up to. <laughs> so. I'm afraid my partners are out of the competition, <laughs> folks. We'll be back in a half an hour. <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later, guys. Morning star in single digits. Started good and then faded quickly. So the leaderboard, the top stays the same way we showed you on the last graphic. Godlock, Johnson, and Warren, and Dunn. We're just getting started.